Hey guys, Auto5 here with episode number 5 of our Sampdoria career mode on FIFA 19. Kicking this episode off with a game against Roma, the team we did last year for the Serie A career mode. And how cool is that? Like these these uh, Tifus they've added to FIFA are a small, small addition to the game, but they are very, very cool. Um, maybe next year, if they could have one for more teams than just the big ones, that'd be nice. Like if Sampdoria had one, that'd be nice. But 24 minutes in, Moise Keane whipped in a cross. He did get taken out in the process. Advantage was played. No advantage came from the cross. We get a penalty. And, of course, Cagliarella tucks away that penalty. This man is retiring at the end of the season, so we do need an adequate replacement for him if we wish to continue this form into next season. As it stands, we, we look like we will be making it into Europe this season, which is brilliant. But Patrick Schick plays through Justin Clivert. Svila thought he could get to it, and he, well, he couldn't get to the ball, but he did deny the cross, which was lucky for us, because they had men in the box just waiting for that cross. But Kolarov wins the ball back. He plays it up to Klaivert. He's going to back heel it back into Zanilo, back up to Kolarov. Klaivert is going to dink it across to Nzonzi. I don't know why he's that far forward, but he does not score, luckily for us. Now, Caglarella plays through Kapari. He gets the ball intercepted by Under. Schick plays it back to Under. And Zonzi plays a brilliant ball through to Zanil Olo. He is going to whip the ball back into the back post. And Clive at the back post. Unmarked by Ferrari. And he makes it 1 1. Justin Clive at scoring a header. You would not have seen that last season on my career mode. I'll tell you that. But 1 1 against Roma. I mean, I'll take a draw against Roma, definitely. But. We showed there that we can score against them and we can hold on to a lead for a while. So if we can get another goal, we should, I think, be able to hold it. But Moise Keane plays a lovely 1-2 with Caglarella. He's through on goal, hits it with the outside of his boot, but there's enough power on it to get past Asenio, the new signing for Roma. 42 minutes into this one, just before half-time, he makes it 2-1. And the Roma coaches is going to have to change his team talk. Completely now. Going in at half time with a draw. Again, you're gonna say, yeah, we can we can get back in this one, we just need a goal. But now they need two goals to win it. Schick threw on goal, could have went and made it two two at half time. Luckily for us, Fila is on form. And we do go to half time two one up. Right from kickoff, Kapari. He'll do a couple of step overs. No one's really challenging him. Tonali's gonna play back through to Kapari. He's got men ahead of him. Nice piece of dribbling, Caglarella plays through Capari, and he just sets, sends it past Asenio, and it's 3-1, he's going to do the chicken dance. 3-1 up against Roma, this should be the three points coming home with us, but 49 minutes in, Pellegrini does a nice little piece of skill there to get past one of our players, I think it's the bridge skill move, knocks the ball past one side, runs past the other, Svila knocks it upfield. Tonali heads it straight into the path of Patrick Schick. He gets past Colony and shoots and goes top bins. 51 minutes in. It's 3-2, so maybe it's not a guaranteed win that we are 3-1 up. We've still got 40 minutes left in this game to defend a one-goal lead. Hopefully we can do so. But Under is going to whip this one in. Schick takes it down. Colony is playing it upfield. Keen to Caglarella. There's a two-on-one situation. Everyone else, their whole team gets back so quickly. Our team can't even get forward. De Rossi gets taken down for a free kick. Kolarov's going to dink it in. It's going to be headed on. And Undura at the back post. Just taps it in. 72 minutes in. It is 3-3. Three, three. What a game that is. Unfortunately for us, we just gave away a 3-1 lead. But a six-goal thriller, not too bad of a game there. Probably one of our the more more exciting games this season. This time we're at home. No, we're not. Sorry, we're not at home. Still not at home. We're playing Genoa and Cagliarella. You can see there is three goals clear of second place, which is very impressive for a man of his age. Romulo. Went for the free kick. I think Svila would have had that covered anyway. But Moise Keane. Cristico wins the ball back. Plays it upfield to Lampadula. He's going to play for John Augustine. Plays it back into Lampadula. Back to Augustine through. Ortiz. Not nowhere near enough power on that shot. 
but he does track nicely, gets the ball back, plays through Lapadula, he plays through Augustine, Svila gets a hand to it, but it bounces over the top of his hand and into the net. It is 1-0 to Genoa. He's doing the Dybala celebration. How unfortunate can you get? I think we beat Genoa 6-0 six, six last time we played him. But Tonali, we're going to look to score some more goals here and get back into this game. Linetti, Prayet, lovely piece of play. Keen, Moise Keen, the young Italian striker, tucks at home. He's doing the chicken dance now. Makes it 1-1. What a goal that was. Nice bit of build-up play. Cagliarella has got a young protege next to him who probably can fill his boots quite nicely. He's played through here, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's got a chance to flip the game on its head. And he puts it just wide of the post. Could have had his opportunity to make it 2-1 there. But later in the game, we do get a corner. Tonali whips it in. Near post, can't get it. Keane is going to receive it on the edge of the box. Dinks it over his head. Lays it off to Vieira. Shoots. On Onur has that easily. There wasn't that much power on that shot. So the keeper did definitely get away with that one there. But Ferrari into Tonali. To Vieira. Vieira to Prayet. He lays it off to Muru. Muru plays it through to Cagliarella. And how does he miss that? We've missed that easy chance in the first half of Keane. And now that chance of Cagliarella. We hopefully... Hopefully we will not be uh, that, uh, uh, I don't know I don't know what the word is. But again another missed easy a missed easy chance. Regretting, that's the one I was looking for. Hopefully we're not gonna regret those missed chances at the end of the game. And we can score one late in this game. Keen, eighty fifth minute, the young Italian man gets two goals this game. He had the chance to get a hat trick if only he had scored earlier in the game. But he's celebrating with some kind of breakdance in. 2-1. We flip the game on its head after going 1-0 down early on in the game. Great result for us there. As we go into the final game of the episode. Where we take on Bologna. Now Bologna. We are at home finally. Muru. Plays through to Moise Keane. Got the brace in the previous game. Plays through Vieira. Just working the ball down the field. Ferrari back into Vieira. Got a touch on it. Whips it back in Ferrari's possession, but he has already started running back. And unfortunately for us, the goal, not the goal, the attack ends there. Moise Keane's through on goal. Tries to be unselfish and get the guaranteed goal by playing it to Cagliarella. But it was intercepted, and it's still nil-nil. Second half, Palacio plays it to Pol Poli. Back to Palacio. Sansone, just working it around. Poli, back to Falsini. Poli on the first time, volley. Polly on the volley. Makes it 0-0. Still great save from Svilar there. Now they're on the counter-attack. Muru wins the ball back. Now we're going to counter them. And you know how effective our counter-attacks are. Linetti plays through Cagliarella. He plays through Muru. He's got space down here to whip in across. Cuts back inside. Going to play it up to Cagliarella. He's got the strength to hold off the man. Back to Muru. Linetti. Linetti sees Priet in space. He's got space on the edge of the box. Shoots. And it's top bins. It is 1-0. 12 minutes left in this game. What a goal. Really nice play there. And it's 1-0. And it looks as if we are picking up all three points for this game. And as the clock dies down, we win this one 1-0. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.